It's almost... <gasps> Shut the hell up. It is not. Oh my god. Molly and Lacey are going to become elders in two days. For the last time, my Molly... Hello YouTube, my name is Cez Raw and welcome back to the 100 Baby spin-off where I play through the lives of my kids from the 100 Baby Challenge and in this 100 Baby spin-off we've been following the lives of my girls Molly and Lacey. Molly's aspiration has been to become a master actor and so we moved Molly and Lacey into Del Sol Valley but the twist on Molly is she's evil and hot-headed so it's been kind of difficult to try to navigate the acting career with her being evil and hot-headed. And then Lacey is along for the ride. She's in the business career and killing it. Both of my girls in the last episode made it to level 10 of their careers, which is amazing. Molly also had two very successful movie gigs that went really well, and she also got an audition for what will be the last gig that we're actually going to do. So I do have to say this will be the finale of Molly and Lacey's 100 Baby spin-off. So let's get into the game and see where we're up to for both of the girls. So it is Saturday morning for our girls. Molly has an audition for The Sheriff from Alpha Centauri tonight at 7 o'clock. It needs comedy level 7. She's at comedy level 6. We need to get on that. I've also been trying to repair her reputation because if you'll see here, it's going down. I've had a couple of phone calls that are very worrisome. We do have an enemy that I've been trying to patch things up with. We are going to have to get on with the comedy though, so I'm going to get her to do what she's got lined up there and then we're going to get into comedy skill for her. And then Lacey's got the weekend end off because she is a freaking queen. So we're going to be just focusing really on Molly this episode. It's almost... <gasps> Shut the hell up. It is not... Oh my god. Molly and Lacey are going to become elders in two days. I can't... That has actually blown my mind. We've never played so far with my kids that they've become elders in the 100 Babies spin-off. Oh my god. Uh... Okay, Molly is just about to hit 60% of comedy level 6. I think we're going to make it. I was getting a little bit stressed for a second there, but we're going to make it. It's going to be fine. 12 seconds later. Okay, now I'm getting a little bit stressed again. We're going a little bit slower than I thought we would. <laughs> Shri, I know. I'm trying. Oh my god, we've got a bad reputation. Oh my god, I'm stressed. <laughs> I think we're going to just have to keep going until the audition starts because she's not making it as quickly as I would like. Will she, she's not... Oh my god, she's 6% away. I'm so annoyed right now. I'm hoping she's going to make it. If she doesn't make it, I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> Come on, please. She passed. Oh, thank the heavens. Well then, Ms. Big Shot, the casting director called and you got the role of the sheriff. Don't let this go to your head. There is still a chance that they called the wrong number. Your name is pretty common. Excuse me? Who do you think you're talking to? You, you literally called her a legend just yesterday. All right, so more to the point. We've got to... We've got to research an angry emotion again. And I'm stressed about that because we've already got a bad reputation. I need to find someone new and just do it with someone new. We've got to develop comedy skill and develop a friendship with the director, which we are halfway there. So that's fine. Let's bring on tomorrow, though. We got some things that we need to work on for my Molly. The next day. We don't know you. We're going to have a friendly introduction with you. I'm going to get you changed out of that outfit and then hopefully this angry emotion will take over. Thank you. Okay, it has. Right, we've got to do a rant and rave, an insult face, a chew out and a provoke and that should be it. That'll be all we'll need. All right, she's done. Go home. What's the skill she needs to develop? Her, her comedy skill, which we can do. We might do that while she's calming the hell down. So we'll get that done and then we can call over the director and co-stars, but the director. Please don't let it... I think it's made it, her reputation a little bit worse. All right, she's just reached level 7 of comedy, which is amazing. Why are you asleep? Having a nap. Oh, did the movie make you fall asleep? The movie is so boring that you fell asleep during it. Oh my god, Lacey, that's hilarious. That's so funny. I love that. 
Okay, we're now going to call over the director and co-stars so we can get a better relationship with the director. I don't know. Who oh, the director will be Mila. Oh, that's fine. Oh, we can easily do that. Hell yes. All done. <laughs> we're slowly fixing this relationship with Cole. <laughs> but just by texting him over and over again. We're just texting him over and over again. And the relationship's slowly getting better. I would love to be able to hang out with him at a lot. What does it say now? It still says enemies, but it now says disliked as well. It's not as bad as it was before. Okay, I'm going to stop sending him texts because it's late at night. We need to get Molly off to sleep anyway because she's got a gig tomorrow morning. That's really exciting. So let's get the sheriff, the sheriff from Alpha Centauri. I've been struggling to say that this entire day. The sheriff from Alpha Centauri happening for my Molly. The next morning. Right, it is Monday morning. We are sending more texts to Cole, trying to improve this relationship. Oh, goodness, it's a funny thing. <laughs> Molly's gig starts at 9 o'clock, so she's got just over an hour. Lacey's got work today as well, so that's going to be fun. Just trying to do the best that I can to fix this relationship. It's the girl's birthday today as well, but I'm going to try and hold off until after Molly finishes her gig to celebrate their birthdays. All right, time has come. Let's go to the gig with Molly. Let's see what the sheriff from Alpha Centauri is going to be for my girl. I think this is her first ever comedy gig. I don't think we've ever done comedy before, so this is going to be really interesting. So she's got to post a Simstagram story, which she can do right now. That's too easy. Rehearse a scene with co-worker, get into hair and makeup. Okie dokie, we've got to eat food as well. That's one of the things that we got to do. we got to eat food. Have some grilled chicken then. Okay, we don't have to now. We can stop eating the food. We gotta rehearse a scene with a co-star. Shree's a co-star. We can rehearse a scene with Shree, so let's do that. Hello, Shree. Look at you. You look freaking sick. And we've got an alien as well, so it's gonna be another sci-fi comedy that we're gonna do. We've gotta get notes from director. So we'll get into hair and makeup first and then get into costume and then we can get the notes from the director. So let's do it. Let's find out what my Molly's gonna look like. Walls up so I don't see what the set looks like. For the last time, my Molly. Ah, oh, how nice, looking lovely. Is it gonna be like Detective Law, but like a movie version of Detective Law? Because that's freaking sick, if so, I'm all about it. <laughs> I wonder if she's gonna have a blonde ponytail. No, she's not. She's going with a normal, her natural hair color. How nice is that? Let's find out what the costume's gonna be though. Get into costume. Is she going to be an alien? That'd be pretty sick if she was an alien. I'd be pretty happy with that, honestly. <laughs> Let's find out, though. Ooh, okay. No, we've got a Western theme. That's really interesting. Look at you. You look amazing, my Molly. Love it. All right, let's do it. The Sheriff from Alpha Centauri. We've got to perform fire sim racing. We've got to perform a shouting scene and perform a guitar scene. So let's have a look at the set. Oh, it's very Western. I love it. We got like an outdoor Western scene. We got an in like a saloon Western scene. And then we've got a jail Western scene. I love it. Okie dokie. Let's find out. Is this the fire sim ray? Okay, we might do that first because I like to get the angry stuff out of the way. We're going to be shooting Shree. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. I really like Shree. John Tina de Goffa. Yes, Molly killed it. Killed it, my queen. Doing amazing. All right, perform a fight scene. We may as well do that while we're here. That's going to be with Shri, I assume. Let's do it. Hell yes. All right, so we've got a shouting scene and a guitar scene. What's this one over here? Is That's the guitar. So the shouting scene is with the alien in the jail. So we might do the guitar scene first because I'm also nervous about that. <laughs> but let's just get it done. Oh yes, Molly. 
love it. That was so good. So we've got to do a tell joke scene, which is over here as well. That takes the comedy. Let's do a risky tell joke because we are at level seven of comedy. So let's do it, my Molly. Bamboofa. <laughs> Solly Bumbo. Solly Boof. Plaga Boofa. Whiffle. Yips. Ah. Uh, Bamboofa. <laughs> We'll have two scenes left. We'll have a shouting scene, and then I assume we're also going to be locking this alien up. It's very dark in here. I apologize. I've got my shaders on. Like, that's it without it, but... Gumpy! Narky! Wobble boy! Neep, 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 dooka! Grogobos! Narky nilsautiskaroo! Uh, Hell yes, and then perform a lockup scene, just like I thought. So we've got a gold, we've made it, she's amazing. Let's do a risky lockup, we've done this before. It's not going to have that same music though, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, boy. Uh, 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 On TV, can you? Uh, John Keena, Philip Tiscaroo! Killed it, my Molly. For the last gig we are gonna do, you just killed it. Amazing. That's a wrap. I'm really happy we were able to do this gig before Molly becomes an elder because I expect she's just gonna auto age up any second now because we haven't celebrated her birthday. Once Lacey gets home from work, we will celebrate the girl's birthday. So that's a wrap. Molly's finished all her scenes, the crew is shutting down, and the footage is being sent to editing. So she made 8,417 simoleons from that, gained some more fame, will stay on the lot so she can finish eating her food. She's almost level three of celebrity, but we're not gonna be working any more on that because this is the last gig that we're going to be doing for Molly. She's an esteemed movie star. She is a queen. She is a silver screen icon. My Molly. Amazing. All right, let's go home. We'll wait for Lacey to get home and then we can have a celebration and move into your new pad. Actually, I think I'm going to bring Molly home early. She is the boss of the company, so I'm going to make her leave work early. Her boss may not think well of her skipping work. She is the boss, but we're going to bring her home early. We're going to have happy birthday for you, turn you into little elderly ladies. That's so cute. All right, the cake has been baked. Molly's changed into her outfit. Let's have a happy birthday for our girls, Molly and Lacey. Pop some candles on that cake. My queen, Molly, look at you. Time has come to blow out your candles. Happy birthday, Molly, my absolute queen, silver screen icon. You are incredible. There we go. Seniority, wrinkled bellies, frosty locks, and interminable naps await. Party like the Reaper's not right around the corner. Look at you, Molly, in your gold outfit. I freaking love it. That's amazing. But we are going to chuck some candles back on that cake, though, because it is Lacey's turn to blow out the candles. My girls. Oh, my God. Happy birthday, Lacey. Happy birthday, Queen. Again, absolutely killed it in your career, you incredible businesswoman. Look at you. Oh, my girls. Look at you both little elderly ladies oh my god but i think the time has come to move into an apartment that they are worthy of with their family so we're going to move household so we're going to be moving them in with this universe's version of marley abby and crystal and phoenix so i Say this universe's version because this 100 Baby spin-off is actually on a separate save file to the 100 Baby Challenge so that when I'm playing the 100 Baby spin-off, time is not passing in the 100 Baby Challenge. So I have San Myshuno set up here. The penthouse is is where you'll find now Crystal and Phoenix because apparently Marley and Abby have not only passed in 100 Baby Challenge, they've passed away in the 100 Baby spin-off as well. Crystal and Phoenix will be doing the same very soon, apparently. We're going to be moving in. We're going to be joining the Platt family over there. Here we are in Terendi Tower. I am going to renovate these two rooms here. This is going to be Molly and Lacey's rooms. So let's get them renovated and then I'll check back in with you once that's done. What follows is a brief construction montage.
hope you enjoyed this brief construction montage. All right, my girls have officially moved in to the house. So through this door, we've got Molly's bedroom, which has a beautiful view of the city. Absolutely, she is so deserving, my queen. Got a little study nook over here with a mirror. And oh my God, you should see her dresser. Molly, my queen, she has the dresser of luxury over here. Just a queen. And then we've got her bed over here with some posters above it of some absolutely iconic moments. So we've got the movie that she did, the superhero movie, Captain Sigma on the left. And then I did, I can't even remember what it's called, but the TV show that she did, the medical drama that she did the first time she died on camera. I thought that was so iconic to have a couple of her movie posters and TV shows up on the wall there just to commemorate my Molly Queen. And then through this door, we've got Lacey's bedroom. And Lacey has always been the more muted, understated of the two. She's got a beautiful picture up above her bed. She's got a smaller view, but still a beautiful view nonetheless. We've got some files and things over here against her computer, all of that stuff. And then we've got a little study nook over in the corner here for her. The bookshelf though, if I swing around and show you the bookshelf, it's got her award that she got, the business award that she got, her little zen garden and her little dragon she got for Christmas as well. So both of my girls have moved in to the Platt family penthouse in San Myshuno. But guys, that's all I've got for this 100 baby spin-off. This one is all done, but there's going to be another 100 baby spin-off starting very soon that I'm very excited for. So if you would like to see that or any more of my 100 baby challenge, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell next to it to be notified of every time that I upload. And if you liked this video, let me know by hitting the like button down below and leave me a comment as well. Let me know what you thought of this 100 Baby spin-off. Which of Molly's acting gigs was your favorite? I've got a couple of favorites. I really liked Apocalypse Rising. I absolutely loved Captain Sigma. I loved Detective Law. They were so good. <laughs> but guys, I hope you're having the greatest day ever and I will see you in the next video. Bye!